will be here around 615, 7, uh, 615, 6, yeah, 615, 630. Y'all, I'm still asleep. <laughs> my husband's gonna be here in the room waiting for me. I said my prayers. I prayed over each and every person that has to lay hands on me on today and tomorrow. The full time that I'm here. So, I believe that everything is going to be just fine. Everything will be okay. It will be alright. Jesus will be there with me. I am for sure of that. Okay? Um, when I came up here last night, I met some of the nurses that were going to be working with me today. And they were super sweet. The nurse that I have this morning, she's super sweet. So, I, I really feel God did his thing. That was a good pick. So goofy, son. I did this for you. Who? So, guys, uh, I am in the original room that we were in at first. They've taken taken her back to get her um, spinal injection. So, what they explained it is, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be a regular epidural like we had. The last with King, um, it's going to be a much smaller needle. Um, it's supposed to be really, really less painful experience, quick and easy. And then they're going to come and get me, and uh, we're going to get ready for the cesarean. So, um, just don't know how to feel right now. I'm just overjoyed and ready to bring her. Bring her on home. Let's get her done. <laughs> but alright guys. brand new day and um yeah let me catch y'all up right i really didn't film anything yesterday pretty much <laughs> i didn't do no filming because i was literally overwhelmed i felt like it was just a lot you know and i, I just i couldn't do it y'all so today is actually our second day here at the hospital 
and I was like, I'm gonna film for the full day today. Everything is, you know, slowing down and everything is getting better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and film today for y'all. Anyways, right now I'm currently eating my breakfast. It's actually pretty good. They gave me some bacon, a biscuit, some eggs, oatmeal, coffee, milk, and some orange juice. That's pretty bomb. I can't lie. But, um, what else was I going to catch y'all up on? Oh, yeah. So... After I had baby Khaled and um, got it back in the room and everything, y'all, I started itching like crazy. I had an emotional outburst because I was so itchy. I'm not going to even tell y'all what I felt like. I told my husband and he just thought that was so funny. But no, for I was itching everywhere from head to toe. Like everything was not feeling as numb anymore like on my legs and my feet like I kind of feel it a little bit got feeling in my legs and my toes and the itching was horrible like I was itching in places I couldn't even scratch like it was bad y'all hmm. this bacon is really good Thank you. Like, he gave me some extra bacon, y'all. But, it was itching really bad. And then on top of that, I was nauseous. Which, the very first time with King, I did not really have no nausea or nothing after surgery. This time, I did, y'all. I literally was... <laughs> I literally threw up while they were performing my surgery. Now, they did warn me that I may feel nauseous. And so I had to ask because once I started to feel, you know, something, I was like, will it make me throw up? And they were like, yeah, it might. And I was like, oh, my God. Y'all, I was just, I was too done. I was too done. Like, what's that? I... I feel like I just, it was just uncontrollable. I couldn't control it. Like, it just came up, and I'm just laying there like this. It was bad, y'all. It was bad. I didn't like that experience. The um, pediatrician came in this morning to check in on him. They took his weight. So, y'all, yesterday when he was born, he weighed um, 7 pounds <clears throat> and 7 ounces, and he's 20 inches long. When they came this morning to check his weight, he is only 7 pounds now. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, um, I'm about to go ahead and finish eating my breakfast. I just want to update y'all on that. Whenever baby Khaled gets back, I'll most likely be feeding him again. And um, I'll go ahead and show y'all him whenever he makes it back before I have to feed again because I fed right before he left and he's only been gone like 10-15 minutes or oh, there may be him back right now oh yay great get you some breakfast yes Everything looks good so far. He's doing wonderful. Yay. So, best friends, I just had my first shower. Y'all, I feel so brand new. I'm in a little pain right now because, um, like, I've been breastfeeding and stuff. So, I feel like I have, like, slightly mild, um, just cramps. It almost feel like contractions, but, um, it's, like, very... I don't know it's not like non-tolerable i can tolerate it and they gave me the nurse gave me an ice pack um not an ice pack well she said ice pack that may be why i keep saying hi ice pack she gave me a hot pack <laughs> to put on my belly so that way it'll kind of help with the the cramping and stuff as well as um she's ordering me some medicine so that way 
I can take some medicine by mouth because they unhooked me from the, my IV and everything. They took, they attached everything from me. So, um, yeah. My chest hurts a little bit though. Like I'm trying to breathe and stuff, but I think it's because I'm in pain right now. It's kind of hard. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Oh, uh, what what is it that you guys are having? Beef stew. What the? What was that? Tilapia. Oh, palm coated tilapia. So you want fish or beef stew? Uh, fish. Fish. You want right, Diddy? Let me see which one I fed him on the before. He needs to go on the left. <coughs> the pillow right here, babe. Sleepy, yawning. So it is my dinner time. Oh. I was gonna say lunch time. I already had lunch. Oh. It's my dinner time. What? It is Don't currently it. It. 5 p.m. <laughs> And my son just made it here. My first son just made it in my mom. Okay. You know what your baby brother? The king. You don't touch him? Yeah. Touch him. Oh no, you can't Ooh, pull the stuff out of my son. So best friends, it is currently 6.54 and I am up trying to move around a little bit. Currently in a little pain, but that's okay. Of course, we're going to push through and, you know, um, keep going, right? Because the recovery is, is not easy, of course, from, you know, um, a C-section, so just trying to take my time as much as I can but still get up and move around because that's what they want me to do they want me to get up you know move around you know build my strength back up because if I just sit in bed all day that's just gonna make it worse right so they want me to move around and everything so I just got up and put my phone on charge and put baby boy back and Tried to swaddle him up. Now I'm about to get back in bed. <laughs> like I said, it is six, yeah, six fifty something now. Six fifty six now, and um, I just took some medicine for my pain. Oof, y'all. Let me show y'all, baby boy, before I actually get back in bed. Let me make it over there. It may take me. A little time to get over there, but I'm going. I'm going. 
I guess you can. Let me see. Here. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Say, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Good morning, best friends. So it is currently 7:20. Um, I got up not too long ago so I could come use the restroom and you can't get myself together. Um. The middle of the night was really good tonight, y'all. Um, my nurse that I had tonight, she um, she was very helpful. She, um, you know, after I would breastfeed, she would ask if she wanted, um, if I wanted her to take Khaled out. Um, so that way um, I could get some rest and stuff like that. And she said whenever he was hungry, you know, when, she, when he was showing signs that he was hungry, if it was earlier than the time that I had set for him, that she would bring, you know, bring him in here and get me up so I can get ready to feed him. So that way, you know, he won't just be hollering and screaming, you know, those type of things. But that was actually very helpful um, um, tonight because I was able to get a, a lot of sleep than I was the, the night before, you know. So I slept very well um, last night. Whew, y'all. I'm trying to get up and move around more because I feel like I'm starting to get stiff now. Like the first time I got up and walked after the surgery, it was great. I felt like, okay, I can do this, you know. And now I'm just starting to feel stiff everywhere. And I'm just like, Lord, please help me because this is getting it's getting real you know so um yeah y'all i'm just kind of ready to go i don't know <laughs> i feel like i need to you know stay here but i feel like i'm mentally i'm just like Ugh, i'm ready to get out of the hospital they came in in the middle of the night and they was poking me <laughs> uh my nurse she had to take um some blood for me um check my iron again and then she had to give me some type of vaccine and then um she had to what else was it yeah she gave me a vaccine and she drew my blood that's what it was so when she drew my blood the first time she didn't turn the light on because she didn't want to wake my husband up and she didn't want to wake the baby up and so she tried to do it you know in the crease of my arm there and then she couldn't get it so she pulled it out she was like i'm sorry i have to poke you again was like it's okay you know when they draw my blood it doesn't really bother me that doesn't hurt so i was like it's fine and so she ended up turning the um opening the the hallway door the door to the hallway because that's a lot of light and turning on the bathroom light and then moving the curtains back so that way she could see a little bit better instead of turning the light on to wake everybody up but yeah <sighs> yeah i'm in a little pain right now but I know, like I said previously, I have to get up and I have to move around, right? Because I noticed the more that I stay in the bed and I do try to get up, I feel stiff. And it makes it hurt even worse, you know? So trying to get up and move around is the best thing that I need to do. I'm filming on my phone. I feel like I look crusty. But I am in pain, y'all. So I'm about to go ahead and get baby boy and nurse him. Um, try to get him fed before the um, pediatrician comes to take him out. So they can go ahead and do his circumcision. And then after he comes back, I don't know how long we'll have to wait here until they say we're clear to go. Hey, man. Hey, mommy, baby. Good morning. Did you sleep okay? <laughs> I want to feel my skin. Yeah, there we go. You look better, mommy. That's better. My breakfast has made it. So you girl is about to eat good. 
me show y'all what I got for breakfast this morning. So y'all, they gave me some bacon, some eggs, French toast sticks. I even have some Raisin Bran Crunch cereal, which I have not had this in so many years. I got my milk, my coffee, my juice, and everything that I want to put on my breakfast. So yeah, best friends, I'm about to go ahead and eat so I can get my belly full and hopefully by the time I'm done, they'll be here to get baby boy. It's currently 8.22 and he's asleep. Mm -hmm. We are finally in the car. Thank you, Jesus. We got discharged from the hospital. And it's currently like, what, 1230 right now? I'm so happy, y'all. So now we have to go pick up my um, medicine, as well as we're gonna get, we're gonna give me some Depends. Um, let me see what else we needed. Oh, we gotta get pull-ups for King as well, cause he ran out. We out, I'm so happy. But anyway, y'all, um, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up. I don't know how long it is. I feel like it's gonna be long. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and wrap this up. And I will see y'all in the next vlog. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Bye, best friend. Say bye.